Welcome to Settlers Live at Nerd Note Los Angeles! Tonight's comedians are coming up without a set list. We are going to give them a set list, and they are going to improvise the routine that goes along with it. Out of complete and total thin air with nothing to protect them but their fragile egos. Right here before your very eyes, ladies and gentlemen, leaping into the comedy abyss. Everything you're terrified of, like forgetting your material, it's exactly that. It's your biggest fear. And it's great. It's the most liberating thing to do. I gotta get my, uh, my improv chops. I, well, I don't have any improv chops, so I just have to get my make em ups uh, together. Ladies and gentlemen, will you welcome that ever before seen set list of Kyle Kinney! <laughs> I mean, as everybody knows, I mean, you know, I, I, I get to perform comedy. I get to do this, but you have to have two jobs in Los Angeles. <laughs> everybody knows that. People move to this town with not, they're just, just dreams, just dreams. And you can't put dreams on a resume and say, I want these filled. Uh, you know, you can't do that. You got to come up with angles. I found a niche in, uh, in sales, but I realized that there's, there's a, there's a need out there. And that's the whole thing about sales, you have to fulfill a need. But, uh, the hipsters, they're getting rid of their dogs, they're having babies now. Um, <laughs> now we start uh, our, our, our top tier, it's a membership program. Our, our, <laughs> In our top tier, we can offer you uh, various. We've got uh, Jennifer Aniston. We've got uh, we got a lot of. Now that's I mean that's a, that's a, that's top tier. That's gold status membership. We got some of her juice over there. Ju uh, ju uh, juice, I call it here now because we're casual in a more professional setting. And we refer to it as a celebrity lactate. As we refer to it, there's a lot of celebrity lactates and. Uh, uh, and believe it or not, we got a few fellas in there. We got a few fellas in there. Uh, a couple of ones getting later on. Gavin Rossdale, he's getting a little chunky. He's got a little meat up there. We got him to squirt out a little bit. And we got, uh, so that's, and it just, uh, so there's so many uh, breasts out there. So talk to me after the show. We got that, I'm going to clip it. Everybody, go, everybody loves a good boner joke. Am I right? Am I right? There's something, it, what's amazing is the detail. You gotta give it one extra inch to let people know it's a joke. You go around with a five and a half faker. That looks real. That's, 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 gonna, that's gonna lock you up. That's what's gonna, you're gonna get put into joy. You go out there with seven, everybody's like, oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's doing the thing. What is that? No way. It's a funny. It's a funny joke. What he's doing with the thing? Five and a half. This creep. Stop looking at my kid, man. You know, seven. Oh, you can go on a swing set with that. Okay. A big old laugh. Just point. Just point that thing right to the sky. That swing set. People have a good old laugh with that one. So just that's when you're doing your fake erection pranks. Just remember, you gotta go. Give it an amount. Give it a give it a uh, give it a humorous amount. <laughs> I um I am not a uh, I'm not a god guy, but uh, I know it's that, that's that worst thing. I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual. What a horrible thing to say. <laughs> What a horrible thing to say to people. But the, the idea that there, there is, uh, I, don't look at, I, don't look, I don't look at him for uh, uh, him or her or yet, or for any sort of uh, spiritual, that's more of just like a, that's like a Wikipedia for your soul. That's how you gotta look at the concept. You know, just you have questions and you wanna know why, you know, why do babies die? <laughs> Sometimes. Nobody told that baby to join a gang, you know? Nobody told him. Nobody told that baby. Nobody told that baby to go skydiving. 
They don't make harnesses for babies that size, but baby wanted to go skydiving. You ever had to say no to a baby before? Those little eyes. It wasn't even the impact, too. It's the fact that it needed a smaller chute. That big chute jerked the thing right back up. Just... We didn't realize that the chute opening was just gonna was just gonna break all its little soft bones. That's a bad baby just filled just like wet popsicle sticks in there. They just they don't even they don't even crack. You just hear a kind of creaking sound. You know, just kind of like a. It's a real shame too. Just. Because I mean, the wind just blowing that baby around up there. So it looks like it's still full of life, you know? Because it, it's just its life little arm just being pushed around. So we really, we couldn't, e couldn't even tell what happened till, till I, I, for me, I, I be, people notice that about 60 feet up, they're like, oh, something's wrong. I was like, yeah. maybe he's just getting into the, the, the mellow, the spiritual side of it. You know, the zen part of skydiving. As we all know, the zen part of skydiving is when you just look down in that great big world. Baby didn't even know what a world was. He just came into this one. Uh, but knew, knew he was meant for something bigger and wanted to see it from a different perspective. I'm like, you've only been here three weeks. You don't even have perspective. And the baby threw, I mean, I understood. He was like, get me up there, so. And, uh, yeah, and he just, he just, oh, just tumbled. Just, bluff, bluff. just Right in the grass there, and the chute, the chute fell on him. And uh, it was another 20 minutes just trying to find him underneath that thing. <laughs> You know, if you're like, I got him! And you cut that part into a lump of grass. You don't even know. <laughs> um, and, and, and that's an, in, an instant where you, you, know, you just go, why? 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 Why, God? Why? <laughs> I respect uh, the educational element <laughs> with which this is being done. <laughs> but I seriously doubt any of you fourth graders are going to be going into entomology. <laughs> I also hope I used the word entomology correctly. I thought that was the word your teacher said right before you put pins in me. I appreciate the eternal flight pose also. It's a rather glorious way to go out. Listen, I know I only live for about two weeks. <laughs> but did you see what I had to go through before? The cocoon and shit? <laughs> it was a real ordeal. You know, and I just burst out and I got these wings and I got two weeks, just two weeks to use them. Just two weeks to find out what flight's all about. I'm just like a baby in a parachute up there. I don't even know. <laughs> And it ended so short, so you guys could just mash me with pins and then go drink chocolate milk on a swing set later. So I'm a little bummed. I'm a little bummed at that. But, uh, but I, hope you, I hope you get an A. I hope you get an A. Yeah, you pulled both my wings off. Uh, very, very good. But you thought delicate. They're still, I can see them. They're over there. That's a good job on them. So good luck on the test, fellas. I uh, hope you do all right. All right, thanks, everybody. <laughs> I feel like 60% was, and then a couple things, but that's what it's about. Some of the some of the stuff doesn't fly.